Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tell you my uh, later uh, variation of the Caddis jig. Uh, very good fly. It's a buggy little fly the way I do it. And um, we'll go over the materials we need to tie this fly. Um, start, I'm going to be using a jig hook, and this one is a size 12 Togan's jig hook. You can go to 14s if you like with that for the little longhorn caddis. This one represents that one pretty nice. It's, uh, this one's got a brown magic 1 8 bead on the front. Uh, the thread, I'm going to be using some 8 aught red thread, flat thread. The tail, I'm going to be using some, uh, this is a Cree neck. I'm just using some hackle, something similar to that, some lighter. We don't have much of a tail on there. You don't see it a lot. So whatever you have that will complement that. That's what I'm using. The ribbing, I'm using Uni Mylar number 16. It's 1 69th inch. Red green, it's red on one side, green on the other, and I'm using the bright green as a rib. Gives it a very nice accent. The body material, I'm using a golden brown Hairtron. Works great. I'll take that out of the bag and I'm just going to fluff that up in my coffee bean grinder. It gets a really nice, uh, soft, easy dub to use this way. Uh, bugs, I get a nice buggier uh, dubbing that way. The thorax, I'm going to be using some Togan Shadow Dubbing. It's the dark shade and I've chopped this up to fine. It's all uh, been blended. It's a long fiber when it comes to you, and it's, it's like a leech yarn almost, and I, I blind, I just cut it up to about a one eighth inch little, little uh, piece, and I blend it up in that coffee bean grinder again, so it gives me a nice uh, little collar on there, nice and buggy, and uh, it's a great fly. Let's go to work and get one in the vise, and tie it up. Same, I tied the same fly here not too long ago, the green, caddis green. And this is going to be the lighter version of that. Get my bobbin all straight. There we go. I put uh, seven turns of 15 thou lead in behind the the uh, bead. This helps gives a little taper, holds a bead in place as well. And I'll come in here with a little bit of my. Neck hackle here. This is a Cree, bit of a gray. Tips lined up. We want a short little tail, not much of a tail on it. A little long, I'm just going to pull it up where I want it. Tie in point. Just a short little tail is good. Doesn't do much for the pattern at all. Caddis doesn't really have tails, so I don't want to em emphasize that feature. I'll tie the red side up. That way when I the mylar has red and green on the other side, so I tie the red side up when I wrap it'll be green. I'll throw a half hitch on here with my rotary vise. That's my little dubbing. Uh, it's like a spinning wheel, and that's what I really like about the, the Norvice. Just once I get fiber started in here, it's going to come off nice and even, nice and buggy. And that you can use, if you don't have a rotary vise like this, you can use a dubbing loop. And I'll get wrap that up. Have a little extra on there. It's a very fine dubbing. It compacts down quite easily. And then I'll grab my rib material. Come forward. Nice wide turns with the green, bright green. You get some nice segmentation in there like a caddis. Cut that off. I'll take a little half inch right in here. I'll come in with this uh, shadow dubbing and it's 
you might want to definitely want to use a dubbing loop on there. Just get a nice little collar, nice little buggy collar on there, very little. Pull it back out of the way, get my red thread ahead of it. It looks really nice in between. It's just a little bit of a hot spot in between that magic brown bead and the thorax. You can brush it out a little bit if you want. Uh, it's, it's good to go the way it is there, but if you were dubbing it on by hand, by, for example, and it wasn't quite as buggy as you like, just, just work it out a little bit, because that uh, Antron, when it gets wet in the water, it really, really looks good. It, it replicates uh, uh, caddis really well, in my opinion, when it's wet. So, a lot of times in your tying, it's, it's a good point, is put, get your flies and, and soak them. Look, them, look at them in a, in a glass of water and see what they look like actually in the water. The colors do change. Uh, the, the fibers either trap air or they've they're got a bit of a sheen to them. Uh, and you, that's really important that you use uh, the right materials when you, when you see fly recipes that you kind of follow along with, with the dubbing, for example, what, what type is used to achieve the right results. So again, we'd like to thank you again for watching. Thanks all, for all of our sponsors and so forth. And uh, catch you guys real soon, and uh, all the best to you on the bench.